Hey, what's up folks? So what I just showed you there was a sample exercise or a sample of the type exercises that we'll be doing in my new course coming up this year that I'm calling R5 equals performance. Uh, you can check the details for that course on the website, but it's really all about repetitions, uh, getting the right kind of repetitions with the right intentions so that we can repeat performance down the road. Uh, the exercises are going to be, you know, kind of like the one you just saw there, uh, fairly simple in regards to setup and requirements and fairly low in round count, but extremely high in training value, um, especially in the you know, training value on the and repetitions on the things that we need as shooters. Um, not going to do a whole lot of stuff where we're standing still and shooting. We're going to put as much movement in them as possible, uh, put as much footwork in there as possible. Um, you know, a lot of vision work where, you know, we need to shift the eyes around, um, you know, so we use the barrels for vision barriers and obstacles to have to move our eyes, bodies, and guns around. Um, multiple target transition stuff in there so that we can work, you know, that's that speed between targets that really becomes, uh, you know, breeding uh, sooner as a habit, which makes a lot of difference for us uh, in any application of performance type shooting, whether it be combat shooting or competitive shooting, or if you just want to be a better recreational shooter, uh, visual aggressiveness and wanting to do things sooner, absolutely will pay a lot of dividends. Um, I believe that target transitions as a base um, is uh, the key or are the key to developing that habit or that desire of sooner. So we put a lot of those in, uh, in all of my training exercises. There, there's always some target transition work there. Uh, in this one, we also incorporated some um, you know, visual shifts, you know, what we have to see um, out, of the, out of the gun and out of the sights based on the targets in front of us. Uh, so we had a you know a target back there at 25 where we need to do we need to see uh, and really refine more where we're aiming at. Um, you know we need to refine more you know the stability in the dot. We need to refine more um, you know how the dot recovers from recoil. Absolutely, base fundamentals of marksmanship matter a lot. You know trigger mechanics matter a lot out there. So we have to you know flip that switch or flip switches back and forth. You know, we started with a, a harder target that requires more of us. Then we started some movement, uh, some little footwork with uh, moving over that fault line there, some movement into another target array, uh, physical movement, gun movement, eye speed movement, getting the, the eyes in there to the target sooner. Um, you know, a little bit of different target transition kind of stuff, a little bit different triggering speed based on what the targets were, uh, et cetera. Uh, so that's kind of as a theme, you know, we're gonna you know, put 180 direction changes in there. We'll work mechanics in there. We just worked, you know, um, gun handling mechanics with uh, working from the holster. Uh, we can easily incorporate reloads into these things and we will um, safe gun handling habits and techniques put those into this one um, and it was all it was an eight round event you know as a theme to the way we're gonna work the thing for the class or work all the exercises for the class you know as a shooter you know, you're gonna roll up there you're gonna get you know three to five repetitions on each exercise before you rotate out all right so I just got three reps you know and it doesn't if we, we work the thing right we, we flow through it pretty quickly you know and as a shooter you get a lot of training value for your time on the line you know um, so those runs you know those eight rounds you know and you know, what four different targets started at a 25 rolled into those two over there that are in the, the 10 yard kind of range and it ended up back on that same 25 so not a lot of uh not a lot of resources required either you know uh, but a lot of work so um we were those four targets for eight rounds and the average time there was working you know 468 to 480 ish okay so um you know, in just a little bit of time, you know, talking, you know, 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds, including your reset kind of time in between as a shooter. And as a shooter, you get a lot of reps back to back to back to start working on what all those five R's are about. And go check out that course description to get an, a good idea of what I'm talking about there. And never hurts to, to, 
you know, hear things, see things, and read them as well. You know, we all learn a little bit differently. But there's uh, just a little bit of idea what, uh, you know, some of the exercises are going to be about. This one in particular will be there and some modifications of it. But uh, that's how it's going to flow, man. I'm really looking forward to this cor course format for the year. Um, another thing to, to talk about, too, uh, we're going to... Uh, you know, the, the first half uh, or first day and then the first half of the second day of the course, um, we're going to really focus on getting reps. Now, not unaccountable reps, okay? We want every shooter, always encourage shooters to be scoring their hits in live speed based off of their sights, you know, and their sights relationship to the target when the gun fires, you know, calling your shots. Um, so as a shooter, you can be scoring this thing, you know, as you're working it, you know, and you get done. And this is kind of how we're going to flow the course. Uh, so kind of like I did, roll up there. We get, um, I got three runs in there. I make my gun safe. I rotate out of the way. Another shooter gets three runs. They make their gun safe. They rotate out of the way. Another shooter gets three runs. We're not going to score in between shooters for the first day and a half. Every shooter, as you're firing a shot, should be scoring your hits, okay? Day two, we're going to roll in there. We're going to set things up. We're going to work them as stages, and we'll work them with hit factor scoring. We'll score every one of them after that. You know, um, what scoring does? You know, uh, the scoring shouldn't be for the shooter. You know, uh, going up and looking at targets and pasting targets and putting stuff inputs into uh, into a tablet and coming up with a hit factor. That shouldn't be for the shooter. That's for everybody else to know. Okay, and that, that, you know, um, bragging rights or placement amongst the group, you know, whether you're first or, or not first and you're somewhere else down there, uh, that can be evaluated when we roll that in there. But every shooter, if you want to be successful, should be calling their shots every time. So um, that's why we're not going to be pasting in the interest of getting more reps, okay, more of the right reps to refine um, and ingrain so that we can replicate um, we're gonna shoot. We're gonna shoot. We're gonna shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. Not pasting in between. Day two, we'll paste and score. All right. Um, so that's what I got, folks. Man, hope y'all dig it. Check out R5 on the website. Uh, R5 equals performance. And we'll see y'all later.